Okay, so today we're going to be having a look at these. Uh, these are little telephones made by GEC and they were given the name the Junior Gecko Phone or Junior GECO Phone or GECO Phone, however you want to say it. Um, these are basic little intercom telephones, a uh, single button on each phone, so phone A can call phone B and uh, vice versa. Um, very simple, connected by two wires and uh, you know you can lift the handset, press the button, buzzes the other phone and then they can talk to you and they can call, call you as well. Uh, nice little design, uh, I think they were produced from about the 1940s to the 1960s and sometimes they were badged Reliance uh, which was another company um, which had uh, GEC make all its equipment and you can wall hang them like that, uh, the case design is quite clever in that it can hold the handset in both configurations. So they also made a six line model uh, which is this and it's got five buttons on the front for calling each of the extensions. Um, but that's a, a topic for another day. For now we're going to have a look at these. Now you can buy these on eBay very very cheaply, um, as little as five pounds plus postage. Uh, I think one of these even cost me 99p plus postage. Um, people don't really seem to be interested in them. You can't connect them to BT lines, and uh, they, apart from intercom use, they, you know they they don't really have many other uses uh, or collector's value, which is a shame because they they love little instruments. So when I got these, um, I didn't know how to connect uh, one phone to another and there were no circuit diagrams inside them and uh, a, a look online uh, revealed an excellent page on, uh, on Bob's uh, phone files or phone pages uh, website um, which gives a bit of background history of these but there was still no information on how to connect them up and no circuit diagrams so as we've it in the dark um, after another hunt about there I managed to find an, um, a diagram for an earlier version of these which was a wooden wall version and the circuit is almost the same as in these and I was able to figure these out. So I'll take one apart and uh, you can have a look inside. Now on the back of this there's a thumb screw which can simply be unscrewed like that and in the front there's two screws on the sides of the panel. Now this is an unusual panel in that this is a uh, a plate for a five switch model but it's only got one switch. don't understand um, why it's like that but that's just the way it was when it came to me. And so if I just unscrew that. Now these run off six volts and um, just batteries basically. Uh, all six of the volts are used for signalling and one and a half volt um, cell in the six volt battery is used for powering the speech circuit. So once you're inside you'll be presented with a sort of fairly cryptic uh, string of, uh, of letters here. Those are Z, E, C, M, C, L and E, B. When I first saw this I didn't know what they meant and uh, Eventually, once I'd managed to educate myself a bit more, um, I found out that ZE means zinc, uh, which is the negative terminal of the battery. C means carbon, which is the positive terminal of the battery. MC means microphone carbon. L is line. And EB is external bell. The other side is a simple connector for the, for the handset with the, for the microphone and the earpiece connections. So if you get one of these, it might have a cable attached to it, it might not. Uh, this one did have its cable, it's got a few extra wires in it that aren't used. And uh, the way that this works is you connect ZE, as I mentioned, to the negative terminal of the battery. Now here I've just used a simple plastic four cell battery pack with some Duracells. So the black wire ZE is connected to the negative. Carbon, uh, well, uh, carbon yep, uh, is connected to the positive terminal of this battery pack. Uh, MC, uh, I've connected a blue wire to it, this is this one here, now you connect this between the negative and the positive of the first cell, so you're getting one and a half volts going for the microphone, 
Uh, I don't know if you can run the microphone at a higher voltage, you probably can, it might cause some damage, uh, but uh, the information I found said one and a half volts for the microphone, in my experience it seems to work fine. Uh, L is line, I've connected this orange cord here, and we'll come back to that in a moment. Now once you're on the battery, you can a better setup would be to have a junction box, and this is ultimately what this will have. Um, you have a line cord, which is just two wires. Um, I'm just using this short piece of speaker wire here. So you connect one terminal, one contact of that onto ZE, the negative, and then you connect the other one onto L, the, the line uh, there. And these two wires then run to the other phone, and L from this phone is connected to L on this phone, and ZE from this phone is connected to ZE on this phone, and it's connected again on the other phone. I've got a battery pack. I've got a little junction box which I'm working on here as well. So that's the idea behind it. Once you know how to do this, it's you know amazingly simple. But um, it's just initially trying to work it out was was um, you know not the easiest. Um, in terms of this, it's quite a simple um, design inside. It's just a, a big lump of aluminium as the base chassis uh, then there's a small sub chassis which is uh, screwed onto the top of that um, there's a couple of hook switches here that are activated by these plungers there's the button which uh, again is the switch that's inside and there's a buzzer uh, which is down at the bottom there um, you can actually adjust the buzzer as well by tightening that screw to, to change the tone of it um, this one oops this one is quite nice as it is so, yep, that's the idea behind these. Um, it's good to be able to connect these up and use them. Uh, my intention is to have one of these upstairs and one downstairs so I can uh, I can buzz and uh, annoy my girlfriend. Um, much better than seeing these sitting on shelves or in boxes doing nothing. And, as I say, they're available very, very cheaply. Um, they've got a nice, you know, solid Bakelite 164 style handset on them, which is uh, badge GC. Uh, Gico phone. Um, doesn't have a spit cup mouthpiece, it's got a, a more um, basic design but it seems to function fine. And the microphone and receiver inserts in these are exchangeable with any uh, standard GPO phones. Um, black Bakelite, uh, there were some models um, that were made in ivory and those are very rare. Um, they probably sell for a bit more on eBay because they're unusual. Um, but yeah, you can make yourself a nice, cheap, uh, easy to use intercom system uh, with these phones and uh, yeah, it's, uh, they're pretty nice. And uh, that is the Junior Gecko phone, or Gecko phone. Bye for now.